Last fall, we introduced a quantum leap in PC gaming, our Ada Lovelace architecture. Ada features next generation shader cores, RT cores, and tensor cores, and breakthroughs in graphics like shader execution reordering. I'm excited to announce that the Ada Lovelace architecture is coming to GeForce Now. The new RTX 4080 Super Pods will deliver an amazing 64 teraflops of graphics goodness to each gamer. That is five times the performance of an Xbox Series X, and will include full ray tracing and DLSS 3. For competitive gamers, we're also bringing NVIDIA Reflex to GFN. The RTX 4080 Super Pods can render and stream at 240 frames per second. When combined with our Reflex technology, it achieves click-to-pixel latency below 40 milliseconds, a first in cloud gaming. That is about half the latency most console gamers see. The RTX 4080 will be available in our new Ultimate membership, which is replacing our highest tier, the RTX 3080 membership. Only Ultimate members will have exclusive access to our highest performance GPUs and can stream at up to 4K and 240 frames per second. RTX 4080 availability will start in select data centers in late January with added coverage across North America and Western Europe throughout Q1. All RTX 3080 members will receive the ultimate upgrade and be among the first to become ultimate members. And more exciting, the price to existing 3080 members will remain the same, just $19.99 a month. Today, I am excited to announce our next GPU in the family, the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. The RTX 4070 Ti delivers up to three times the performance of our previous flagship GPU, the 3090 Ti. It will max out your 1440p gaming monitor, delivering over 120 frames per second on modern games like A Plague Tale Requiem, Warhammer 40K Darktide, F1 2022, and Spider-Man Miles Morales. With the power of DLSS 3, the 4070 Ti delivers 1.8x performance across a range of titles, while consuming almost half the power. The RTX 4070 Ti is packed with 40 teraflops of Ada shader cores, 93 teraflops of third generation RT cores, and 641 teraflops of fourth generation tensor cores. It features dual AV1 encoders to double the performance of video export. The RTX 4070 Ti will be available on January 5th with a starting price of $799. The need for performance and portability has fueled RTX laptop growth well beyond the overall PC market. And now over one third of GeForce users are creating. And there's more to come, with 60% of the GeForce laptop installed base not yet upgraded to RTX. Power and thermal constraints are the ultimate challenges in delivering high performance in thin, highly portable laptops. With the Ada architecture, we set out to transform laptops through process, design, and technology. The result is a massive two-third reduction in power at the same performance. Put another way, Ada beats our current flagship GPUs with one-third the power. Today, we are announcing the GeForce RTX 40 series laptops. They are three times more power efficient and bring the Ada architecture DLSS 3 and new Max-Q technologies to the next generation of laptops. Across gaming and creating, RTX 40 series laptops deliver up to four times the performance in the most demanding apps. For years, we've worked with system OEMs and CPU manufacturers to look beyond the GPU to a full system design approach to performance and portability. We call it Max-Q. We optimize every aspect of the laptop the GPU, CPU, memory, thermal, software, display, and more to deliver powerful devices that are thin and quiet with great battery life. Today, we are introducing the new RTX 4070, 4060, and 4050 laptops. Faster than our last generation flagship laptops at one third the GPU power, delivering 80 frames per second, 1440p ultra gaming, and transforms creating like rendering scenes in Blender that used to take two and a half hours to just 10 minutes on RTX. 40 series laptops start at just 999 
and will be available on February 22nd. The Ada architecture has also enabled a new class of enthusiast laptops. I'm excited to introduce today the new RTX 4090 and 4080 flagship laptops. They start at $19.99 and will be available on February 8th. NVIDIA Studio is our platform for this new breed of content creators, supercharging workflows with RTX GPUs. Over 110 RTX accelerated apps, dozens of SDKs and studio drivers to deliver continual performance updates. The heartbeat of the studio platform is found in NVIDIA Omniverse, where creators can connect those accelerated apps and collaborate in real time. 3D creators use many specialized design and content creation tools to complete projects. Those tools don't easily interact with one another, making it hard for artists to iterate quickly or bring their projects and assets from tool to tool. NVIDIA Omniverse is a collaboration platform enabling artists to connect their favorite tools from Adobe, Autodesk, Unreal Engine, SideFX, and more. Creators see the aggregated scene instantly come together without lengthy import and export cycles. Changes happen in real time across the connected apps, whether a single artist working in multiple apps simultaneously or a team contributing their individual elements from around the globe. NVIDIA Broadcast enhances your mic and webcam. With the latest update, we are adding eye contact to the feature list. Come take a closer look. Eye contact will change the position of the speaker's eyes to appear as if you're looking at the camera, allowing for better audience engagement. In this case, allowing me to read the script from a screen next to the camera while I still engage with you. The new NVIDIA broadcast update will be available to all RTX users later this month. Watching video is one of the most popular activities on PCs today. 90% of online videos run at 1080p or lower, while nearly half of RTX users have higher resolution monitors. This mismatch can leave a blurry or soft visual experience. Today, we're announcing RTX Video Super Resolution, using AI to improve the quality of internet video streaming in two ways. First, by removing blocky compression artifacts, and second, by upscaling video resolution. This AI-accelerated combination improves video sharpness and clarity on high-resolution displays. RTX Video Super Resolution will enhance video streamed in Chrome and Edge browsers starting this February on RTX 30 and 40 series GPUs. Developing self-driving cars is one of the most complex AI challenges of our time. It requires two computers, an AI factory in the data center that is used for software development and testing, and there's an AI computer in the car. The bigger computer is the AI data factory in the cloud. OEMs need to process massive amounts of data collected from their fleet and then curate, label, and train their AI self-driving software models. Using NVIDIA's DriveSim, you can then test and validate this self-driving software in the digital twin of these cars on millions of scenarios every day. All this software runs on NVIDIA DGX and OVX servers in the cloud. Now in the vehicle computer, NVIDIA Drive provides a suite of full-stack self-driving and cockpit application software. This includes the operating system, middleware, parking, self-driving, and various in-vehicle cockpit applications. NVIDIA is unique in that we're the only company helping the industry end-to-end, -end, from the complete AI data factory in the cloud to the full software stack running in the car. The traditional vehicle architecture is very distributed, with nearly 100 different computers in a car. There are computers for your power seats and windows, your cockpit displays, driver monitoring system, as well as your parking and self-driving applications. The NVIDIA Drive platform is designed to simplify and centralize the architecture for software-defined vehicles, enabling a leap in performance and capability while reducing energy consumption and cost. We recently announced our Drive Thor SoC. It's the first advanced robotic central computer that NVIDIA has built with the safety and security required to allow multiple vehicle applications to run in parallel. With Thor, OEMs can redesign their vehicles to have an architecturally compatible high-performance computer and sensor suite across their entire fleet. It's clear that as next generation of cars become autonomous and electric, the interior is transformed into a mobile living space complete with the same entertainment available at home. We already talked about GeForce Now and how NVIDIA's revolutionary streaming service is transforming how you can play games. 
Today we're announcing that GFN is coming to the screens in your car. Powered by gaming supercomputers in the cloud, GeForce Now connects to the world's biggest digital game stores, so users can stream across any device, including internet-enabled cars. No special equipment required. Stream and play the biggest games while you charge, wait to pick up a family member, or entertain kids in the backseat. With over 1,500 games ready to play, passengers can enjoy top game titles with millions of other PC gamers online. By combining NVIDIA's heritage in gaming and infotainment, we're reimagining an in-vehicle experience for passengers to relax and have fun. Today, I'm excited to announce that several drive partners are integrating GeForce Now. BYD, Hyundai Motor Group, and Polestar are all working with NVIDIA to enable the vast catalog of game titles to be enjoyed in their cars. We have been working on a robotics platform named NVIDIA Isaac for over five years, building on top of NVIDIA AI and NVIDIA Omniverse. Simulation is playing an important role throughout the life cycle of a robotics project. Our partners are using Isaac Sim to create a digital twin. Isaac Sim is quickly becoming the must-have robotics development tool for all the benefits we talked about. Many leading robotics companies are leveraging Isaac Sim and deploying physical robots that were developed and tested virtually first. We are announcing the next release of Isaac Sim. The new features include improved camera and LiDAR support to more accurately model real-world performance.